Um, let's move on because we got a lot to, to fit in still. Let's talk about Pepsi, <laughs> another company that has been raising prices as it copes with higher costs as well. Full year organic revenue at this company, it says, is going to be 8%. That's better than its prior forecast of 6%. Those shares are down, but not down by much, not even a half of 1%. Um, and the company said its revenue was $16.2 billion, better than estimated. Earnings per share also better than estimated, Saz. Julie, didn't like this quarter. I have a full piece on uh, PepsiCo right now on the Yahoo Finance platform. I uh, did not like that margins were, were under pressure in the Frito-Lay Frito business. Didn't like that margins were under pressure in the Quaker Foods business. Didn't like that the company cut uh, its full year profit guidance by about four cents compared to the outlook they shared uh, three months ago. I was able to hop on the earnings call for PepsiCo this morning. Uh, the company, the company's CFO, Hugh Johnson, in front of the show, said they are seeing low teens type of inflation increases for this year. Uh, they did see that. Now they're looking for even increases above that level. So my brain immediately thinks, is PepsiCo seeing 20% inflation in some categories this year? And analysts really pushing PepsiCo on if they're going to increase prices even further and how will consumers respond to that? It was a very interesting earnings call. Uh, more on this later on. Although of all the companies that we've talked about thus far, these shares are down the least. So it looks like um, investors are not too worried about what they're having to say, at least not yet.